Hey everybody. So I know a lot of students get confused with the template strand and the non-template sense strand, non-sense strand, and then the three prime and five prime direction. I didn't include this on my other bio video. I pretty much did like a general idea of transcription of the protein synthesis. But today we're going to go into a little bit deeper, more detailed understanding of what happens during translation, specifically with uh, these two strands and coding and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing you want to do is identify the sense strand from the anti-sense strand, okay? The sense strand is always going to run from 5 prime to 3 prime. And the anti-sense is always going to start at 3 prime and run to 5 prime. So this is why our double strand of DNA is anti-parallel because let's just say 5 is our starting point. Well, this sense strand starts at 5, ends at 3, and then our anti-sense strand does the opposite. It's anti-parallel. So it starts at 5, I mean, I'm sorry, it starts at 3 and works its way to 5. Also know that your anti-sense and your sense strand have another name. So anti-sense can also be called your template template strand, okay? And then your sense strand can also be called your anti-template. And you'll see why in a minute. So two main players we're gonna go over right here. First is helicase. Helicase is going to unzip the two strands of DNA. So he's gonna open them up. And he's able to open them up so easily because I don't know if you remember, but hydrogen bonds are what put the two nitrogenous bases together. So when this is closed up, there's usually two, some hydrogen bonds in between them, holding them together. And remember, hydrogen bonds are weak bonds. So it's gonna be easy for a helicase to come in and tear these hydrogen bonds apart. Okay, next is polymerase. Once helicase has opened up the DNA strands, Polymerase is going to work with this template strand right here, the one on the bottom, and it's going to transcribe or copy the code, which is this nitrogen nitrogenous bases, onto the mRNA. Okay, so let's look at our, this is gonna be our mRNA strand, our messenger RNA strand that's gonna be made out of this template strand, okay? So let's look at how that's done. So our RNA polymerase is going to look at this first base right here. This is guanine. And it's going to ask itself, what base pairs with guanine in RNA, right? And it's going to make that base. So cytosine pairs with guanine, okay? Next, it's going to look at the next base. So next we have cytosine what base pairs with cytosine in RNA? Guanine, right? Okay, next we have adenine in DNA. What base pairs with adenine in RNA? Uracil, right? So it's gonna make a uracil. Next we have thymine. What pairs with thymine in RNA? Adenine. And lastly, we have guanine. So what pairs with guanine in RNA? Cytosine. Okay, so this is how the polymerase enzyme copies the information from the template strand to make the mRNA strand. Now, this is a super, super important part recognize this that okay look at our sequence here right we've got cytosine here and if we look at our sense strand we've got cytosine and then we've got guanine and then we've got guanine and then we've got uracil and thymine well uracil is a thymine of rna right we always replace it with uracil so we've got pretty much the same pattern going on here, the same sequence, excuse me. We've got adenine and adenine, 
We've got cytosine and cytosine, guanine and guanine. Again, uracil replaces thymine, adenine and adenine, and cytosine and cytosine. So you can see that the sequence here is the exact same sequence as the sense strand. We can also say that the sequence of the mRNA is the same as five prime to three prime, right? So that's huge because I know on the ATI, you might get a question to ask you, what direction does the mRNA transcribe on? Well, it's transcribing on three to five, but it's a copy of five to three. In other words, it's transcribing on the template strand, but it's a copy of the anti-template strand or the sense strand. Okay, so these three questions are all true or false. I got them off of ATI practice questions. So let's go over them one by one. DNA is coded on the sense strand that runs from five prime to three prime. Is this true or false? This is true. So DNA encoding, right? The DNA encoding has to be this has to be your DNA encoding, right? Because this is gonna go over to the ribosomes and it's gonna be made into a protein. So this has to be the correct like language, the correct encoding for DNA. And this is a copy of this sense strand. So this sense strand is the DNA, DNA is coded, it's the DNA encoding, okay? Okay, number two, the anti-sense strand is used as a template in DNA transcription, true or false? This is true. So the anti-sense strand right here is used as a template to transcribe mRNA. Okay, number three, mRNA has the same nucleotide sequence as the sense strand, true or false? This is true. All that means is that this nucleotide sequence here on mRNA is the exact same thing as the sequence on the sense strand. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I just wanna point out a couple little things that you absolutely must know as far as translate, I'm sorry, transcription for your tooth exam. Know that your nucleotide bases are held together by hydrogen bonds, you have to know that. Know that the double strand is unzipped and they will use that word unzipped by helicase and then know that polymerase enzyme is the one that transcribes or copies codes the template strand to the mrna know that the sense strand runs from five prime to three prime the anti-sense runs in opposite direction so three to five also know that these two are the same thing sense and anti-template anti-sense and templates and Big takeaway also is know that your mRNA, this nucleotide sequence here is the same thing as your sense strand. It's the same copy of this, okay? That's it. Thanks for sticking around, you guys.